Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Fresh Haze IPA from Deschutes Brewery is the one for you. Welcome back everybody, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. <clears throat> Dog's trying to go up the stairs and the door is shut. That's uh, right. Uh, There's um, a bacon-wrapped chicken on the stove, and I know that he's going to get up there and eat it if he makes it up there about members shut the door. 6.5% ABV, 45 IPU, IBUs. Deschutes does a very good job at putting the IBUs and ABV on the beer Informing can. Informing the consumer. Yes. Now, I'm guessing this is a takeoff fresh squeezed IPA from them. Which is a very good beer. <clears throat> According to Brett and Steve. Yes. Pretty much the same thing. I think uh, on the fresh squeezed, the the vice is just pressing on the hop. And on this one, it's cut the hop in half. and. Let me see. I guess I didn't even pay attention to that. Oh yeah, it's smashed. Like, in. juices are coming out, but it's loopy and looping. Something We're going like to see a hazy twist on your main squeeze. And yeah, this juice bomb explodes with notes of orange citrus sweetness and self mop body. Yep. We're going to see. Best Buy 12, 14, 18. Did pick this up at Hoffman Street Grocery. Not sure what the cost was because they had to open a six pack. You have had. I have, I have had. Hmm. Bread of the dishes Where? this time. Yep. I guess on mine. Because I'm, because I quit. I mean, <laughs> no. You'll figure didn't. that out. Uh, white head, <laughs> small bubbles, about a finger of head. Bubbles on the side are like bubble wrap. They are spread apart. If we look at the color, brownish, yellow, almost orange color. It is hazy. I can see particles. What you call it, golden? Yeast. Golden yellow. I don't know. I would call like that gold. A, a golden orange yellow. <laughs> it's almost like this can, but a little lighter is what it is. It's gold. That's orange. Yeah, it's a little lighter. Uh, a couple bubbles coming up. Not that many. I can't see through it at all. Okay, smell. <laughs> what? Oh, boy. Citrus, fruitiness, mm. dank. And I'll be honest, I think that I don't even like any Deschutes beer. I don't think that there's one that I like. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I don't think so. Hmm. So, I don't know. I would go, I like, juicy, citrus, dank. It doesn't smell awful, though. It almost smells like it's in that New England category almost yeasty okay but i think it's the juiciness mixed with that citrus that's giving that off is he licking his lips hopefully not he's probably full he's gonna take a nap now <laughs> dog fat <laughs> that's what he's talking about dog just came back downstairs <clears throat> okay let's taste that has a little bit more bite than i like but it doesn't taste bad at all. Nice and smooth up front. A little bit of fruitiness, citrus, bitterness. And this is weird. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm hiccuping. Dog, you better go lay down. This is why he's not a lot down here. He's big old black lab. <clears throat> the little dog's usually down here and she doesn't even go near the camera stand, but he likes it. This one's stupid. <laughs> He's two. He doesn't know any different. This isn't bad, though. The the weird part on this Take one, I get that citrus, that fruit juice kind of thing up front. The bitterness is like on the side of my tongues. Or, or on my tongue. So it's on the How left side. And two. I want to know. <laughs> You're crazy. Your face get red. <laughs> but, yeah, it's still there. I don't know if what it's from but it's like on the like i get the bitterness on the outside of my tongue okay no i 
aftertaste is kind of juicy bitterness, piney. But it's not awful no, and no, overpowering. I will say this is the best Deschutes beer, best tasting Deschutes beer I've ever tasted. I think we had. need to get fresh squeezed again. No, I'm good. I, I think now that you're a seasoned vet, you might like that. Totally not. Still like virgin territory. No. Totally. <clears throat> The one that tells me to pick up Greenstone whenever I can find it. It's so good. This is not, this isn't what this is supposed to be. I I don't think this is bad. I would go four out of five. I don't think it's as good as fresh squeezed IPA. I'm not a huge bitterness fan. Yeah. My throat but, kind of burns though. Uh, what do we, 6.5. It, it kind shouldn't. of burns. It's warm. Yeah. It kind of burns, which... I guess it didn't taste like alcohol. It didn't smell like alcohol, yeah. but I guess must maybe be... you're allergic to hops. Well, so it's been nice knowing you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna be upstairs by so myself what... drinking wine when he comes down to the yeah. basement. What would you go with on this one? I guess uh, for what it is, I think it tastes good. It, I would go four out of five. I think this is one. I mean, I could probably drink a six pack if I picked it up. Okay. If I saw it in a regular store and they went and break it up okay i would probably get a six pack and i could drink it mm -hmm. um would i i probably wouldn't buy it again because i know fresh squeezed i could probably get fresh squeezed everyone that i know well that has had fresh squeezed ipa loves yeah. fresh squeezed ipa what are you going with Sorry. i said four okay uh 10 of my friends have had this Average 3.7 out of 5. Okay. A little over 9,000 people have had this average 3.82 out of 5. I don't think it's terrible. No. I don't, I mean, by any means. It's not thick, juicy, hazy that I love, but it's not going to be because this doesn't claim to be that. Right. This person says, taste tastes too, borderline shandy. In terms of citrus profile. No. No. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-uh-uh-uh. This dog, I tell you what. I told Duke. you he was dumb. No! Oh, boy, we're going to cut it loose. There he goes. Oh, no, I ain't human. He knows better. <laughs> he heard Brad's voice. Um... BB 12, 14, 18. That's what I said, isn't it? Yeah, so this guy's got the same can I do. Soft, easy drinking. Orange pulp hop emphasis. More juice than beer. So this person must not like... I don't think so. I don't think that. Because of the taste of... The, because of the after taste of yeah. the alcohol for me. I think it's a little too bitter to be a New England IPA. Uh, Untapped is saying it's a New England IPA. 45 IP, IBUs in a IPA, I think, is pushing it for a New England IPA. I think they should be lower. Okay. And this one is giving off bitterness, and I think it's too much. Oh, all right. I agree. I was going to look bitter. at that before we started, and I didn't look at it. Sorry. Because they're saying India Pale Ale. So. I like the can, though. I like it. Yeah. I would like a shirt. Just shoots. You I got the fresh squeezed IPA it. one. I don't know. I don't even know where it is. He's gonna find it now and he's yep. gonna wear it all day tomorrow. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sunday. But yeah, not a bad beer. I would definitely pick it up. And again, I I don't know what it was for a single, but Hoffman Street Grocery, I believe, said this was not moving. That's why she split it up for me. You just never know, I think, honestly. I, I mean, think Corey would like this. All right, get him one. But, yeah. Pick up a can. If a six-pack is $9.99, $10.99, I would pick up a six-pack and try it. Are you done? Are you annoyed? Well, I mean, you've already talked about this, so I oh, was just waiting okay. for you to be done so I can move on to the next beer that I might like. Yeah. That dog distracted me. <laughs> He's distracted easily by that moving dog. things. <laughs> Makes me mad. <laughs> so that'll wrap up this beer review. Until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Happy brewing.
If you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and thumbs up and check out some of our other videos.